right now, we're seeing big increases in cases in the U.S. because the Delta variant is more than twice as infectious. That means that we're going to have to double down on protection. As contagious as the chickenpox, an internal report from the CDC is showing us just how quickly the Delta variant of COVID-19 can spread. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Vicki Liviakis. And I'm Justine Waldman in for Grant Lotus tonight. And that report from the CDC also says the virus can be spread by vaccinated people just as easily as the unvaccinated. It says each person infected with the variant on average is affecting eight to nine others before an, an infected person with the original strain was passing it on to about two people on average. Not good news. That report is a slide presentation from the CDC also saying that the variant causes more severe infections than earlier variants. But if you are vaccinated, the CDC does say that you're 10 times more likely to reduce the risk of severe symptoms or even death and three times more likely to reduce the risk of infection. So that's the upside. The news comes as uh, San Francisco releases news of a fourth surge. Crown Force Dan Kerman joins us now live with details on this. Good evening, Dan. Good evening. You know, this fourth surge, we knew it was coming. Now it is here. City officials say they are concerned about it. Another reason more people need to get vaccinated and more people need to start wearing masks indoors. More disturbing data about the surge of COVID-19. Since the beginning of June, San Francisco has seen a tenfold increase in cases, and the rate of increase is higher than the three previous surges. We are now averaging 176 cases of COVID a day, and again, that number is increasing on a daily basis. That 176 compares to uh, a low of 12 um, where we were um, uh, late this spring and early uh, earlier in the summers. Hospitalizations are also up with rates among the unvaccinated eight times higher. And all this is happening in a city where 77% of eligible residents are fully vaccinated. What it says is we're dealing with a different virus than we were six months ago. This one is significantly nastier than what we were used to. And uh, we've got to get the vaccine rate up significantly higher than what we thought the target would be. UCSF Department of Medicine Chair Dr. Robert Wachter says not only do new studies show the Delta variant is more severe, but now vaccinated people can pass it on to others. That's why he supports an indoor mask mandate for everyone. All of us thought we were out of this pickle. It's completely natural for everybody to be unhappy about it. And I'm not happy about talking about it, but it, those are the facts on the ground and you have to respond to the changes. San Francisco is in discussion with surrounding counties about an indoor mask mandate. And Dr. Colfax says that will likely be instituted next week. In the meantime, he has a warning for those most at risk. If uh, you're particularly vulnerable to COVID-19, 65 and over, or have other comorbid conditions, I would be um, very, uh, very cautious about uh, how I would engage right now um, uh, in, in public and in, in, in settings where, um, you know, that could put me at risk for, for COVID-19. Another reason to wear a mask as well as to get vaccinated if you're not already, Dr. Wachter points to a new Israeli study about long-term COVID, which shows 19% of those studied in that study six weeks later still had symptoms. Live in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.